So guys, this is going to be a pretty quick one because it's going to be more of a work in progress with uh, with some photos. But I uh, I snapped at the Forge World Open Day and bought <laughs> another of the uh, the well not even event only now they're now just Forge World well Warhammer World, World, World exclusive models the uh, Cat uh, Librarian in Cataphracti Terminator armor. And I've got a nice little idea. Well, I think it's a nice idea of a uh, of a conversion to make. So I, f I feel this model is maybe dividing opinion. People, it's a really yeah. nice librarian model. We don't have one. The demon coming out of the claw is divisive, put it yeah. that way. I think uh, almost Legion specific in this sort of era that uh, we'll talk about in a few minutes, no mm -hmm. doubt. So we'll cut the close camera, we'll show you some details, and uh, and then we'll cut back out and we'll do a, a bit of a description about what uh, what I want to do with it. Uh, these are the, uh, the store-only models, guys. So these are from Warhammer World. Um, these have previously been event-only, and certainly the first time we saw them, they were on the event-only stand in the, uh, in the queue, and people rushing to not pick them up <laughs> and I'm wondering whether they're now uh, they're now store only just because they uh, they're not as popular as some of the ones previously could be that it could be that they they didn't really have anything new to offer us for the for the new year yep could be but uh, on the the open day guys these are these are just in the main forge world store you can stroll in pick one off the shelf and away you go yeah um I remember when we got Otilon score and you're the Narek Drager. Narek Drager, that guy. <laughs> uh, when we got those, it was one per customer. Um, uh, for each of them, of course. Uh, but now it's fair game. Have at it. Open season. So on the uh, on the close-up, guys, these are absolutely beautiful. This um, is a really nice cast. It is. It's really sharp. I, I, I've not spotted any uh, any fault with him so far, which makes it such a shame. I might have to carve him up. <laughs> so I've got, I've got grand ideas for these guys. Um, the, the divisive part of this kit really is partially the skulls, because I think a lot of people thought, well, it's a Night Lord character. Not as generic as it could have been. Yeah, um, and, and that spikiness is also replicated in the uh, the Cataphracti pads. Again, it would work for Sons of Horus really I feel, nicely. I feel with this, though, they're damned if they do and damned if they don't, because yeah. if you make something too generic, then people are like, oh, it's boring. If you make something, like we had previously the Minotaur special character. Yeah, true. It's not a model you can just use off the shelf unless you play Minotaur. So, so I think it's a, it's a nice balance. I think the, those details could always be, you could always claim they're part of the Librarius project, so uh, that works quite well. Um, we've got a lovely cloak on this guy, still with a bit of uh, water from my ceremonial resin washing. But it's a really nice cloak, a little bit tattered again, which is uh, an interesting, interesting well, I guess touch. Well, it's Night Lords, we're talking flayed flesh here rather than yeah. actual cloak. And it would be very easy for them to have sculpted in the flesh to make it yeah, but, uh, incompatible. Yeah, but too non-generic. Yeah. So I think they've got they've probably struck quite a nice balance here. The uh, the other details of these are very very nice. I'm not sure how well you can see this, guys. We'll do a, a close cut as well. We've actually got a uh, a book bound in uh, in chains, which is quite nice. We've got the other part of the claw um, that goes onto his uh, onto his arm, um, which obviously guys is partially sculpted into the bottom of the flame. Uh, and we also have this that looks to be part of the uh, the arm for the creature that he's spawning. So, yeah, so. Um, may or may not end up using that for reasons which will become apparent. <laughs> We have the axe. The axe is quite nice. I think it would work very well for Night Lords. Probably work quite well for. It actually, um, it actually looks just like a generic Clyburian Force axe with those. It does. Runes. It could almost work quite well as a Space Wolves axe as well. Really, I suppose you could. Just, it could almost pass it as a chain axe. But yeah, Force weapon, power weapon. Frost blade. It's, uh, frost blade. Yeah, it's uh, very nice. And I like the uh, the angle there and the wrapping. It's uh, it's a very nice sculpt. And then the two horns of the uh, the more contentious part of this kit. <laughs> so let's get on to that. The demon which it's summoning. So it's probably hard to see here, guys. It's very, very grey, but the, the flame detail, I think, is really nice and sharp. I don't think anyone has any issue with the sculpting itself. No. I think uh, mainly the issue is that for any of the legions that don't fall to corn, having your librarian summon a blood letter is perhaps <laughs> a little bit out of character for, <laughs> for those Nurgle players or those, uh, those other legions, which uh, we'll get on to, I suppose. I um, guess the other issue was also in terms of just the dimensions, the size, just having it stick up and off on the sides of the model, it just, it's not a, not a very balanced model, if you know. No, what I know what you mean, yeah, it's, um, and uh, I know that some guy, some, uh, some in our community aren't particularly keen on the, uh, the sort of the, the magic effects, as seen on, on. And uh, also, if you like us, you can't paint magic yes. or flame effects. <laughs> I think uh, that got a lot of stick on the, some of the new triumvirate uh, parts of the, uh, the Eldari oh, yeah. uh, triple kit, uh, and, Famously on Magnus, a lot of people didn't like the effect on Magnus. So and, and Magnus's base. And Magnus's base, most importantly. But um, this, of course, brings us to the conversion work I have planned. I have a history for hacking apart some of the uh, perfectly the good other, models. Perfectly <laughs> good models, just to uh, to ruin them. So, guys, we've got um, we've got some parts here that some of you might recognise. Uh, some of you, if uh, 
you're uh, less uh, diverse in your hobby butterflying, perhaps not, might not spot them. So uh, we have, these are some shoulder pads. These are from the, uh, Prima, uh, uh, the Primus Medicaid. Mm. Uh, in Cataphraxy Armour that we saw as a store only release. Uh, a nice smooth pad on one side and then we have a model that I've dropped. Um, we have this sort of winged skull here which is relatively close to an apothecarian symbol it's, it's but I reckon... generic enough that you'll get away with it. And I reckon actually if you cut away those little uh, heads of... Uh, Why must you always cut things? I must always cut things, you know, it, it just it comes with my training. Um, and then do that as a wing, that could be quite nice and actually could fit quite nicely for the uh, the third legion. Um, we have another set of, uh, well, we have the Phoenix Power Spears. Uh, don't need that one, I've got one on here. Um, we've got uh, the Phoenix Power Spears come with a, a Terminator sized spear. Now I didn't need that, I've got my, uh, my Phoenix Terminators already, so I think I might uh, swap this over. Where it's held is quite good as well, consistent with the original model. He's holding it close to the blade, holding close to the blade, mm. so that hopefully will port across it's quite like nicely. It. I know, it's almost like I've put some thought into this, but <laughs> honestly, guys, I haven't. Um, <laughs> And then, of course, we have, uh, this is perhaps the more contentious part of my uh, decision-making. This is very contentious for me. It is, I know. <laughs> we have uh, three of the, the old Slaneshi uh, fine cast parts from uh, Games Workshop here. We have the helmeted Sl uh, Slaneshi-styled Space Moon helmet, which I, I really like. Uh, thank you, yeah. Well, I suppose you guys want to see this not upside down, um, which has got the top nod in. That would take a lot of conversion to get into that hole, but it's a nice sculpt. We then also have, if we're thinking of a... Uh, an Empress Children Librarian who may well be more Some, corrupted. Somewhat down the path. Yeah, we can then have uh, these two helmets. So we've got the one with the uh, the, the the Sonic Shrieker coming out of his mouth and uh, an absence of eyes, which <laughs> seemingly doesn't affect the Empress Children. Or we have the uh, the what I'd like to call the Gimp Mask. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's on. The Mr. Gimpy. Yeah, M Mr. Gimpy McGee. Um, and he's got some piping on there, which could fit quite nicely. I suppose the main problem is this isn't a separate head. And to take a, a Dremel or a drill bit. This is a, a one shot thing. It's uh, do it once and don't mess it up, guys. It not being event only or limited is a slight saving grace. <laughs> You're going to get another one. But one slip of a drill, another £25 down the drain. We're back in the car. Back in the car. I'm not sure my wife would appreciate that on my day <laughs> off tomorrow. So uh, I'll, I'll have a think about that, guys. But the main bit of the conversion work will be uh, the uh, Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer Fantasy uh, uh, Slaneshi Demon. Uh, the Demonet, rather. So we have uh, quite an old kit now, I believe. What does it say? Does it tell you? Uh, it doesn't actually say a date on here, I don't think. It does not. No. But we've got a range of um, of claws. One with sort of more carapacey, no knobbly bits on, and uh, one with a bit more sculpted work. I think I'll probably try and go for this claw. Okay. Um, the uh, the head with the uh, bad hair day hair. Um, and then the, the torso, again, very nicely sculpted and fine cast, so it's easy to whittle. So give us your plans here. So the plan will be, I want to try and keep in as much of the, the torso and the, the abdomen plating. If I can, I'll try and keep in the left shoulder pad, the right arm, and maybe a little bit of the cape. But essentially cut off around there, and cut off on the demon, somewhere just below where the demon comes in, and try and superimpose that through there. And then use green stuff to merge in the flames, so that rather than this Emperor's Children Librarian summoning a corn blood letter, <laughs> have him summon in something more fitting for the uh, the uh, the Emperor's Children. So uh, bold plans. Um, we'll see what happens with the the head, the potential head swap. I think I'll probably chicken out of that. But uh, I think overall, having the combination of the Phoenix Power Spear, the uh, the 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 demonette coming out of the flame, and then the uh, the fantastically well sculpted base model, I think we'll be able to come up with something quite uh, quite interesting. Famous last words. He says confidently. <laughs> we'll cut back to the wide camera guys and uh, give you our closing thoughts. Thanks. So we've done the close camera looking at the Cataphracty Librarian. Uh, nice kit. Very very sharp. Very nice kit. Yeah. I was I was surprised when I first saw the pictures. Um, I think you, we've said in the past it's a dev divisive kit isn't it? Well when, I, when, I, when, we got the, when we went last year and I bought the Praetor mm. and not the Librarian I wasn't planning to buy either, and we went to see the guy who sculpted them, and he had a couple in front of him, we picked them up, had a look, Yeah. and they were very nice. And we, we, were, we were convinced to buy one, and now we have the other. Yeah. And yeah, divisive though, because of the... Because of the demon, the demon. It? Yeah, so if you're, uh, if you're from a legion that doesn't settle with corn, having a, uh, having a blood letter leaping out of his fist seems a bit odd. Or sorcerers at all. Or sorcerers <laughs> at all, in my case. That's one of the, the big hurdles, guys. It's going to be uh, Third Legion, famously, didn't have sorcerers. Or rather, big fan, didn't have librarians. librarians. Even though uh, Fulgham supported the, uh, the librarian or the librarius project, uh, didn't want them in his own legion. 
Oh, hypocrisy at its finest. <laughs> exactly, uh, as always for that chappy. So uh, we'll we'll see. I might have to shoehorn in a bit of backstory for him. If you actually manage to get it built and painted and play a game with him, he may create his own backstory. He may. So we'll see what it's like, guys, and we'll uh, we'll let you know. <laughs>